Welcome back guys to another random coding video. Today I will be showing you a special tool I created called AutoHot Decomp. It is a special little EXE to reverse engineer AutoHotKey EXEs. So let's jump straight into it. You will to use this, all you have to do is go download the link in the description from Mediafire. And uh, I will also be releasing a video when it gets released on GitHub for the first time, which should be in about a week or so. So be ready for that. I just realized it's 3.14 in the morning, so happy pie time. And uh, yeah. So right here I have a little auto hotkey script called up.exe that gives you a pop-up, another pop-up, and then if you click no on the third one, it'll give you a little GUI menu, and you're done. So what up exe does is that will allow you to use the little up arrow that is needed when coding auto hotkey. Because my keyboard on my laptop, for some reason, doesn't have it built in, even though it's normally supposed to be added with shift six. So, I have to have a special script that I made to be able to do control up to be able to access it. Now the good thing about that is is that I can customize it to my liking. The bad thing about it is is auto hotkey is a pain to code. But that's besides the point. What if I release this exe and someone wants to get the source code? But it's not open source, or any auto hotkey script for that matter. Like your mate sends you an exe made an auto hotkey that they didn't make. You want to make sure it doesn't have a virus, because very simple auto hotkey viruses have been floating around a lot lately, which is pretty annoying if that's the kind of thing that you like to do. And uh, hopefully this should remedy that. So auto hot decomp or AHKR for auto hotkey reverse is a command line tool, meaning you have to use cmd.exe to execute it. Meaning, yeah, exactly that. So let's open command prompt and go to desktop, which is where I have the exe stored. So it's named AHKR right now. So in the folder that holds the exe, just put in its name. And then put in the location of the exe that you are reverse engineering, so up exe, and then you can leave the next thing out, and it will name it up.ahk, or whatever the exe is, but instead of exe, it will have ahk. Or you can put in a custom name, so test ahk. Oh. Oops. That is not its fault. It's the fact that I had it running. Sorry. You can't have the EXE running. There. Now we have the AHK file. So, I'm just going to launch a Notepad++, which has a config for AHK files. So in here, we have the raw source. Of course, it does not have indentation. That does not get sent with it into the EXE, sadly. Otherwise, this would be easier. But, so, I'll be back in about a minute after I automatic, not automatically, after I manually indent this entire file. So, I'm just going to pause the video and be back in a sec. Alright, and we are back. So, I have indented this entire thing. And uh, let's look through the source real quick. So here we have four Boolean flags. Boolean, if you don't know, is a true or false value, one or zero. So a byte has eight Boolean values, eight ones or zeros, pretty simple. And uh, right here we are creating a message box. Then we have an if statement based on the message box message box response from the user clicking and uh, it will turn off if they didn't if they say they didn't launch it 
but if they said they did, it would ask if they want to block the arrow when the command is running. So, it's obvious what, if you say yes, it'll block, if you say no, it won't block, then it'll run help, which will ask if you know how to use it. If you say no, you get info. And it's running some more complex commands, which are creating a GUI, and adding text, and adding a button, having a button handler. But either way, it's some simple stuff. Then we have binding commands that deal with the actual binding to your keyboard. So it's having to do if statements with the return values, and have to deal with if you wanted blocking or not. So, either way, it's still some pretty simple stuff. And, uh, yeah. So, here we have the raw source code for the exe. Meaning that this little exe that I coded, which is running in the .NET runtime 4.6.2 C-sharp, but it was able to take this exe and convert it to this AHK file. The only thing it can't deal with is encryption. If you have an encrypted exe, then it can't parse that. Very sorry. Wish it could. I can work on that if this gets enough backing, but either way. So, that's about all the content I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, the link for the EXE will be in the description for auto hotkey reverse, auto hot decomp, and uh, I'll even throw in a link for the up.exe so that you can take it yourself and reverse engineer it. Just for a quick test if you want. I don't really care that much about it, so. And then in my description down below, I will also have a link to my Facebook, Reddit, Instagram, and GitHub. And I will be creating a new video in about a week or two when I add the AutoHot Decomp library to my GitHub page, which will have the source code for this exe. And, uh, so expect that pretty soon. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time. Please like and subscribe, and... Have a good day.